still playing, dog. Open it up. See what's inside. Better take your grandmama for a ride. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, mistakes were made. <gasps> come here. I'll come back and figure this out. Found the dog. I found the dog. I found the dog. Okay, so was that... Oh, is that all, actually all the side quests? No, we have the the one dude. The, the flowers. So, aside from the flowers... Oh! What the fuck?! I'm mad. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fucking fight, dog. <laughs> I'm ready to fucking fight, dog. Give me the fucking dog, dude. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Ever since we started, every time you go out of a door, it just casts you forward. I don't understand why. Thank you. I was tilting back on the stick that time. Alright, your dog was in the sewers. How'd your dog get past the flames that were blocking the sewer? These are the real hard-hitting <gasps> questions. Mello, where have you been? Thank you, Mr. Elephant, for finding Mello. We've been looking all over for him. All over! You can have this ship in a bottle as our thanks. We are going to give it to an old pirate who lives by the docks as a present. She missed the day she was sailing the seas, and we thought that might cheer up, but it turns out neither of us had the courage to go near her cabin. Damn, bitch just chucked down the steps! Dog. Well. Accidental side quest. <gasps> what have you got there, matey? Hey, a beautiful brig she be, though, though tiny. She reminds me of the old days when I was strolling down the deck of a ship like her. It's a present for you. You can keep it. Oh, can I? That's, that's I don't know what to say. Be a wonderful gift, me old matey. I cannot sail the open seas no more, but my heart still belongs to the waves. I shall treasure this memento dearly. I want to give you a gift in return. It's a strange object that I want you to fish out of the sea within the locker. Maybe you can even figure out what it is. Bro! What the fuck am I- No! Oh my god! Nightcog 2002 thank you so much for subscribing, yo. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? What the fuck am I supposed to do with this diving helmet? What am I supposed to do with this diving helmet? Who do I give this to? Oh, the guy who wanted to go underwater to seek treasure. Do not seek the treasure. Yo, does anyone know that reference? Wait, what key am I supposed to get? There's a key? Okay. Does anyone get that reference though? I hope there's at least one person. Do not seek the treasure. What? Do not seek the treasure. We thought you was dead. Do not seek the treasure. Yes, I'm glad someone got the reference. That was a pretty accurate uh, telling of that tale just now. If I'm just being honest. Whoa, my boy, look what I have for you here. Whoa. Mr. Swampy, I found this old diving helmet for you. Do you think it can help you hunt for treasure? Do I? It's just what I've been looking for. It looks like it was manufactured in Freehaven. Where did you find this? An old pirate gave it to me. Aha, say no more. This helmet has been in the hands of pirates. It's virtually guaranteed to help me find treasure. It has soaked up all the greed of the high seas and is surely blessed with supernatural treasure finding properties. You can have the key to my old treasure vault down in the sewers. That's where I have collected all the trinkets I have found over the years, but I have no need for them anymore now that I have this beauty. Onward to the treasure! This is nigga, you are a fool, bro. And this is the key that I need in the sewers. 
It's all coming together. Yo, SXC Superstar, thank you for the 27 months, my dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so. We still have flowers. We still have flowers. Um, and... Something to wake homeboy up with. Those are the only two things we're missing, right? From what you guys remember, we did everything else, right? Lit, it's still here. Cool story, dog. Lit health token. I think that gives us four. Wait, how much was that? How much was the skin? Do I recommend you buying this game? I mean, you can see the gameplay. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So, so I'll take the crown. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. Please don't. Please don't think that. I have to preface any time I ask a question with that because everyone, for some reason, everyone always thinks I'm mad. Um, especially on Twitter. Um, but I'm genuinely curious. Like, what what was your intention with that? Because to me, like the way uh, the way I see it is like, if I was watching a stream like this, number one, it's not a sponsored stream. Obviously, if it was sponsored, you guys would know. It's not a sponsored stream. So clearly, I'm playing the game because I like it. And at the same time, you can see the gameplay. So then to me, it's like, so what What? What are you asking when you say, do I recommend the game? Like, do I enjoy it? Because again, to me, it's like, if this person's streaming it, they're still playing it. Obviously, they enjoy it. So I'm kind of just, to me, it's a head structure. And I'm honestly just trying to understand. If that is what you're asking, sure. If you like little puzzle platformers, then yeah, get the game. It's lit. How much was this? But I'm, I'm curious. I'm interested. 128. Lit. Look at us, dog. Look at this, dog. Lit, 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 lit. Look at how sexy we are now, dog. Whole ass snackulous, Doug. Okay, so we still have the flowers. This bitch is walking on roofs. I don't know how we're supposed to wake homeboy up, though. What does homegirl up here say? Do you have any other ideas besides cold water to wake someone up who's asleep? Do I? I've got tons. Let's see, a loud noise is always a winner. I once started the Minister of the Treasury by sneaking a live chicken into his wardrobe. It went cock a doodle doo early in the morning. You should have seen the look on the Minister's face. Classic. So yeah, we just have to get a chicken. It's that simple. It's literally that simple. It's just that simple. Go cash in your health tokens. You're right. Hey, bitch. Whoa. Welcome back to the land of the living. Oh, a new elephant. I suppose it's about time. It feels like only yesterday I said my farewells to Naga. You spoke to Naga? Was she another elephant like me? Oh, yes, she was, young one. The sixth, in fact, in a long line of noble elephants. That would make you the seventh. Naga left this world 1,000 years ago, and now the planets have once again aligned. A new millennium has begun, and here you are. Does that make you 1,000 years old? Yes. We bone whites do not age like humans. We do not get ill and do not die. This is all because of Naga, who used her elephant magic to bless the soil of the Sunder Garden. We who festered in the ground rose from the dead and were granted life eternal. Many have risen since, but I was the first to sprout from the earth, and I am old enough to have met Naga herself in person. I wish I could learn more about the deeds of past elephants. I feel like everyone else has such clear expectations of what I'm supposed to do. They seem to have a better understanding of what an elephant is than I do myself. 
Ha! You're in luck, young one. They don't call me the Lord Master for nothing, you know. You may think people above know all about elephants, but the truth is most stories and tales have been forgotten. I bet most people these days didn't even believe in elephants until you showed up. I, who do not eat and do not sleep, have devoted my existence to collecting and preserving elephant lore. These books and scrolls you see around you are filled with legends and historical accounts of elephant accomplishments all the way back to Yen and Agra, who came to this world when the humans were still living in caves and feeding off roots and berries. So you can teach me all about other elephants then. Alas, I wish I could, I really do, young one, for knowledge exists for sharing, but it is with great shame that I admit that the library has fallen into disarray over the past centuries. Entropy is the one force that pervade, pervades the universe, and sooner or later we all must decay. Most of the paragraphs here collected have simply slipped off the pages and been scattered to, scattered to the wind. It will be a great task indeed to collect all the lost letters and glyphs and put them back into the books in the correct order. Maybe I can help? Yes, maybe you can. Through your journeys you might have them upon lost letters, haphazardly hidden in bushes and jars. Collect as many as you can and bring them back here. I will then carefully place each letter where it belongs and the ancient text will once again emerge. Only then will you be able to read the stories within. Do you understand the project? Yes, I think so. Grand! I would like nothing more than to see the, this wealth of knowledge restored. Here, let me give you the handful of letters I have managed to pick up in this room. They should be enough to piece together a chapter, or maybe a few paragraphs. Huh. Whoa. It's actually letters. Dog, we have... 20... 700 letters? Okay. But hold up, I want to see this. I'll take the crown. Well, it looks fun, but I was wondering since it's a lot of go and fetch quests. I mean, I enjoy it. Like I said, if you enjoy that type of gameplay, if that's, I mean, you see the gameplay, you see me playing it, I enjoy it. I'm going to keep playing it. But if that, if it seems like something that's interesting to you, then sure, scoop it up. I'll kind of look at my... Now it says we only have 1,400. What? I don't understand. I don't understand. Hmm. Uh, well, the only other quest that we have available right now Only other quest we have available right now is Homeboy here. And he's finally gone. Skr, 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 skr. Wait, I think we have flowers. Wait. I think we have some flowers. Wait, wait. I think we have some flowers. Oh, wait, wait. I think we have some flowers. So this is the last one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Health tokens, health tokens. After I deliver the flowers, we'll get the health tokens. Look at you no go, dog. Look at you no go, dog. Yeah, you gallop, you cute ass bitch. Look at you no go. Our skin is fucking flames, dog. Uh, Slippy, it's up time, dog. Not run time. You know what? I'm gonna get this right now. Hey, bitch. Lit. Lit. So I have this strange feeling that that Steam review lied to us, and it's going to take longer than three and a half hours to beat the game. I don't think it's a very long game, but I don't think it's three hours either. Oh, are these from Julie? I can't believe it. She has noticed me after all. My dad won't let me outside much, so I spent a lot of time writing poems for my unattainable Julie. Will you deliver her to her for me as a response for the roses? There are quite a lot of them. Damn, my nigga. God damn. Pipe her down. That's just a whole bunch of like dirty sex. Oh my god, Julie. I want to titty fuck you, sir, dude. Bro, wait until I upload this to YouTube and like. Six months from now, some single mother goes to look up a playthrough of Yono because she saw it at a friend's house. A friend's kid was playing and she wanted to show her little four-year-old. Or she stuck on some part and the kid wanted to see it and here I am Ooh. talking about titty fucking. Oh, he responded. I can't believe it. My love is not unrequited after all. I always knew, you know, in the bottom of my heart as they say. I'm going to read all these poems and then I'm going to write a long love letter in reply. How about maybe meeting him in person? 
Oh no, there's gonna be a long time before I work up the courage to do that. Alright. Letters. More and more letters. Can I talk to this dude? Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I talk to this dude? Can I talk to this dude? Yo, Blue Lord, thank you so much for the 16 months, yo. Let's see if we can piece something together. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, so you just unlock letters. So you spend the letters to unlock them. Oh, shit. Okay, well, we're gonna unlock them in order, dog. Okay, so we unlocked the whole first book. So this is a reading of Naga and the Sun Garden. This happened a thousand years ago. <clears throat> Sunder Garden, my bad. This is the story of the fall of the Zernagoth Empire. The aged Emperor Bindusara II had himself inherited the throne to the mighty empire, and in his lifetime expanded it even further. But as he lay on his deathbed, it was time for the golden throne to be passed on to his successor. Bindusara had two sons, Prince Pandava and Prince Kwarava, and they were twins. The two princes were grown men at the time, and both had held high offices in separate parts of the empire. The southern provinces were the domain of Prince Quavara, the Duke of Anvil. In the north, Prince Pandava, Lord of the Foxes, governed the land. The twin princes had both grown powerful in their domains, and as their father's life approached its end, the two of them both claimed to be the rightful imperial heir. Foreseeing an inevitable conflict, both princes had secretly spent their time amassing wealth and influence in their regions, and the armies they controlled were the biggest in living memory. War seemed inescapable. Page 2 Elephant Naga saw the conflicts brewing in the lands. She had been a great friend of the Emperor, Bindusara II, and she had for many years lived near the court and served as a trusted advisor to the ruler. The fame, justice, and longevity of Bindasara can perhaps in large be, part of, be attributed to the influence of the elephant Naga. Naga traveled to the northern provinces to the Fox Keep in order to talk to Prince Pandava and ask him not to go to war with his brother. But Pandava would not listen to the elephant. He had cunningly prepared for this outcome for this outcome for years, and his scheming in his scheming, he had completely forgotten his childhood growing his childhood growing up with his twin. Why can't I read this page? What the fuck? So Naga traveled south to the Iron Citadel and spoke to Prince Quaraba. She asked him to lay down his sword and make peace with his brother, but Quaraba's massive army was already clad in steel and marching towards the plains of Pali, where he would face down his, old, his own brother once and for all. The armies of Anvil and the armies of the Fox stood ready to do battle. Page 3 Elephant Naga began to run towards the plains of Pali, where the battle was to commence. She ran as fast as the wind and the thunder, but she was too late. The battle of the twin generals, the greatest battle in recorded history, had already started. Brother fought brother, kin fought kin, and the devastation was total. The bodies of the fallen piled up into barricades which the remaining warriors would climb and keep fighting. The ground was no longer visible under the layer of corpses. Kids game. General Quarava and General Pandava met face to face in battle, the Duke of the Anvil against the Lord of Foxes. The two twins were so equal in strength and skill that when Quarava thrust his lance, so did Pandava, and the generals pierced each other's armor in the same breath. They died together just as they had been born together. Page 4 When Elephant Naga arrived at the battlefield, not a single soldier was still standing. The devastation was total, and Naga wept over the massacre. The corpses of the fallen lay strewn across the fields like poppy seeds. Naga wandered the plains of Pali for many days, and she watched over the dead bodies as they sank down into the damp earth. She chased away crows and scavengers, and she tended to the dead. Her tears fell on the soil. It was not until many, many years later that the first corpse sprouted new life. Out of the mass grave grew the first bone white, brought back to life by Naga's blessing. The plains of Pali would continue to sprout the living dead, and it does to this day, and would henceforth be known as the sacred cemetery, the Sunder Garden. Dog. The fucking lore! The fucking lore, dog! That's crazy. 
That's actually kind of wild. That's actually kind of wild. Hmm. Lady Titty. That was a dope ass story. I'm not gonna lie. That was actually kind of dope. Ha ha. Ha ha. Well then. I think we've done everything we can here. Trovas Forest. 